Well, Gary, did you uh, did you deserve a little bit more from today's game? Um, no, probably not. I mean, we had the opportunity to get something more from today's game just at the end there when we had that 3v2 situation at 2 all, um, and uh, it didn't quite come off. But we didn't show enough intent um, in the first half, and it took us to be 2 0 down before we really got going and, and got our game going a little bit more and showed that intent to go and score a goal. And then, although the quality all round wasn't good enough on the day, um, that intent got us into their penalty area very often. And then we started you know, being a bit braver with keeping the ball. And, um, and obviously, I'm deep down. I'm pleased that the boys have come back from, from nowhere, 2 0 down and then 2 all. Um, but I felt that was an opportunity missed for us uh, because of our poor start. And we mustn't, you can't have that poor start in the Championship because teams get a little bit of a um, momentum and uh, it's very hard sometimes to wrestle it back but we showed the commitment to do that so uh, but we don't want to be 2 nil down to, before we got started. It was a really funny start to the game wasn't it? The first 10 minutes and you could barely pass it to each other after playing so well the last two games. I know, you're right and um, you know and that's very frustrating for a manager and his coaching team because you know we do a lot of that and yeah, that, that's just you know mental toughness on, on people to go and get the ball and then pass it to a player in the same colour shirt as you. And uh, you're right, that wasn't happening. But it took a little while before that started happening. And when it did, then we started showing that those runs of attacks and that momentum to uh, get the ball in there. Their box. Yeah. And just finishing with the negative stuff, I and mean, you really got yourself back into the game. You were creating chances, and it was two sucker punches, really, wasn't it? Well, it was, but I mean, you know, it was. A, I think it came from our corner, didn't it? You know, what their first goal, which is, uh, you know, that that's what teams do at, at this level. You know, they they all suck you in and then hit you on the break because there's a there's a lot of very quick players and clever players at this level, and uh, we have to learn and understand what happened. Um, but if you go out and 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 don't start jumping your eyes, running your fastest, being your strongest then these teams can uh, score goals against you. But the way you stuck at it, even in the second half, yeah. when it, it seemed to have gone a little bit flying, that, that says a fair bit about the character, doesn't it? Well, that's what the boys were saying at the end of the game there, and, and I understood that. And deep down, I'm very pleased that we you know, we, we, we got the game back and we didn't lose. Um, and they did show that character, yes. But uh, you know, if you stuck, show that character in the first minute, yeah. the same as we showed it in the 90th minute, then we won't lose many football matches. Yeah. You made a couple of changes at half-time, was that a little bit of tired legs on the, the young lads? Yeah, I think so. I mean, John Lundstrom had had a little bit of a sore groin anyway. Um, he, he played two on the trot. Uh, Adam Morgan's probably not, he's obviously not played at this level yet. Um, and three games in a week was probably just a little bit too much. He's only still only a young lad. Um, so we had to, you know, we, it was no nothing on their game. I could have took any two off. but. Um, I just felt I needed to get, you know, different logistics out there, and uh, and whoever made it work, something worked, and uh, if it was that, then so be it. I don't always necessarily agree with that with man of the match awards, but I thought Joel Grant obviously had a hand in both goals, but really was a good threat all day. Yeah, he was a threat. He, he, I'd like to see more of an end product yeah. from him. That's his next level now. You know, if he he's a fa he's got a fantastic touch, he can run with the ball. Now he's either got to put the ball in the back of the net or give it to someone that can put it in the back of the net. And if he starts doing that, then uh, he, he's got premiership quality. And I don't think anybody was getting that ball off Ishmael Miller for the penalty. No, that's right. And, you know, we had a little panic up because Hates was out there and he's our penalty taker. Funny enough, I saw Ishmael practising some penalties yesterday. Um, so I thought, OK, it's a bit too late now to take someone off it and make a big scene, you know what I mean? And, and he spits his dummy out and all of a sudden, you know, he, he's upset. He's a big fella to be upset. Um, and he looked confident. He went and got the ball, he put it straight down. So, all right, then, stick it in the back of the net, which he uh, he struck very well. Um, uh, Liam Day's had to go off. Anything serious there? Well, we don't know yet. The doc's sort of looking at him. He just felt a little bit tight in his hamstring. Again, the three, days in, uh, three games in seven days. Um, but uh, we'll have to wait till tomorrow at Sierra. Yeah. Gets on overnight, but it, it's another game. It's a three-match unbeaten run now. It yeah, keeps it going. I think everybody wants me to be a lot more happier than I am, <laughs> even the lads. You know what I mean? And uh, but 
you know, listen, maybe my standards are higher than all yours, you know, but uh, <laughs> if we're going to get out of trouble, we 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 got to show that intent for 90 minutes. But I suppose the fact that you showed it for 45 minutes is, is yeah. a, a step up from where sometimes it's been this season. <clears throat> It is, but uh, you know, there's some places we're going to go to that you're going to be 4-0 down if you start like we did today.